Hello everyone. Hello my beautiful friends from around the world. My name is Kristen Skelton and I'm the founder of Bud Funding. I love going live with you every Wednesday to show you different tips, tricks, and everything sustainability. So if you're here with me, let me know. Drop a hello in the comments and um, I'm excited to share a really fun DIY with you today. And there, we're all straightened out. So today, we are. I'm gonna show you how to upcycle basically a regular old can into a beautiful planter, like something like this, or something like this. And you can use either of these to, to um, plant any any flower for the bees or any vegetable or basically use it to plant any seed you like. But before we get started, I just wanted to show you something, a really neat experiment that I did this week, um, or I started last week. So if you guys remember, I made a post about my plant babies that I started last month. And I started, you know, arugula, peppers, beans, peas, a bunch of different vegetables so I started those in little pots and what I found was the beans were getting really really tall because they weren't reaching the sun they weren't getting warm enough they were getting pretty leggy and I didn't want them that tall because here in Canada I you know I still what it's April yeah still have a few weeks to go before I can plant them outside in the garden so my beans were getting very tall. And so what I decided to do was I decided to cut off the tops of all of the beans and um, shorten them a little bit and see if I could propagate the tops to grow a whole new plant. And what I mean by propagate is basically, um, you can do this with most plants. You cut off at a certain point on the plant and then you put the top piece that you cut off in water to grow roots and once you have roots then you can replant that in soil so I'll show you what I did so I have this really awesome propagating station and um, I use these to propagate all my plants and I'll show you I'll link it in the comments if you guys would like to get one they look really really pretty when they have some flowers so if you would like to join me in the propagation I'll link it in the comments and uh, you can get your own but um, so these are the bee, bean tops. And so what you can see here is you can actually, can you see all those roots? Which is really, really cool. And I didn't, for some reason, I was not thinking that a vegetable would do that. But, but yeah, so I got some great roots on here. So now I can just leave that in there. And the only thing you want to um, be careful of is you want to, change the water every week or you know when it gets kind of murky so it's um fresh for the plants but rule of thumb is kind of just change your water once a week to keep it fresh and so so now i'm gonna get two plants out of the one seed bean seed which is pretty neat so that's my little propagator propagation station so that was a success but so now let's get back into the DIY project for today. So we're going to start off with this beautiful little planter that I made. And I actually partnered with a company who asked me to create a video for them. And so I made this one and this one for them and it was lots of fun. And so what you'll need for this project is you'll need any can, any size can is fine, a nail, hot glue gun, big old hammer, paintbrush, and any type of paint. So the very first step you'll want to do is just take that label off. And usually they're pretty easy to get off. So you can just take that label off your can. And then the second thing you want to do is take your nail and you just want to puncture holes in the bottom you can do anywhere from four to six that just makes sure you don't get root rot at the bottom 
so it, the water can leave the cam. So just take your hammer and you can hammer in four holes in the bottom. That's what I did with this guy, four holes. And then once you have that done, then your can is pretty much ready to go with the design. So you just wanna think in your head, okay, what do I want? So for this one, I just decided to do a sun. So I have a sun there and then I have some dots and then I have some squiggles on the back. And that was pretty much my design. So once I had an idea of what I wanted to do, I just took my hot glue gun and I started by making the sun. So if you guys can see there, I just did, um, I started by doing a swirl with the glue and then I did little sun strokes and little sun rays and then I did, yeah, there we go. So I just did that swirl there and then with the, this is all done with the glue and then I did the sun rays and little dots and little squiggles. And then I just sat that, put that down to dry for a couple minutes. I decided on my colors. So for this, I chose to do a cherry red and then I just colored uh, and then I just painted the can right over top of the glue. So I painted two coats and then I also did a sparkle coat on top. So that's three coats total on this. And I did decide to do the lip inside so that this can had like a little lip. So I painted that and that was pretty much it. So now I have this really pretty little planter that I can use and it really didn't take too many materials and it was an awesome way to upcycle a can. So this second can is um, if you have different materials, depending on what materials you have, then you can choose which style of can you want to do. So for this project, again, you'll need the hammer, the nail, you'll need some sort of twine. I also have a 100% cotton one, so it just depends what color you want to use. And then you have the option of doing this heart. And for that, I used an old calendar with really pretty paper. It's uh, 2020, so it's no longer usable. And I'll also link in the comments um, how to make this heart. And um, so that those are the materials for this, oh, as well as you'll need a Mod Podge or a liquid glue, sorry, and a paintbrush again. So for this one, first step, is to hammer those nails into the bottom and it honestly doesn't take too much force maybe like three little taps and it was good not little three medium taps we'll say <laughs> and then you get these so that was the first step first and then again removing that label so then what you want to do is you want to take your Mod Podge or your liquid glue and you want to paint it about halfway up. The very first time I did one of these, I painted it all the way up, and I just found that the paint or Mod Podge dried part way through, part way up, so I had to reapply, which is totally fine, but um, it's just easier to do it halfway up, and then once you get there with the twine, then you can do the second half. So once you have it painted all the way around, then you can take your twine and what I did with my twine was I took a section, but I left, I left about three inches in length, just dangling, and then I wrapped it all the way around, and then I did a pretty bow at the bottom. And this can be, depending on how big you want your bow, it can be any length you want. Um, yeah, like three to five inches is probably your best bet. So then once you tie your bow and you just press press your twine into your Mod Podge all the way around so it's kind of secure. And then literally you just keep wrapping it all the way up the, the tin, the tin can. And what you wanna do is you just wanna push your twine to the bottom so there's as little space between the twine 
as little as possible so you don't see so much the silver like you can still see it a little bit the silver is peeking out but you just want to try and put those um, the twine squish it together as much as you can so the tin can isn't showing through so so basically you just do the little bow and then you just wrap 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 and pushing it down so it's all secure and pushing it securing it into the glue and then once you get about halfway up you can just reapply all the way around your liquid glue or your mod podge and continue wrapping till you get to the top and then when you get to the top just give it a snip where you want it to end i put a little dollop of hot glue there and then i press the end and then that secured it and then i made my little paper heart and then I put a little dollop of the hot glue and then I pressed the paper heart, heart into it and that's how I secured it. And so that was basically it for this project, for these two designs. So it just depends which one you want to make. And I'll probably make another one of these with a different design, it's pretty fun to do. And then you have your, your can. So if you have any questions, put the in, them in the comments and I will answer them. And we, I would love to see your creations, so definitely put them in the comments and let me know. And uh, thank you so much to everyone who gave me some ideas for sustainable TV shows and videos. I think it was, you gave me some ideas on what to watch and it's just great for everyone else as well. To give to share those ideas and if you have any other ideas of some awesome sustainable tv shows or movies that you would like to share with everyone put them in that post or put them in the comments here and um, thank you so much for being here everyone i hope you have an excellent week and i will see you next wednesday thanks so much bye